Installing the Kohler Veil Wall Mount Toilet Tools and materials for this installation are Safety glasses 2x4 segments 2x6 framing Conventional woodworking tools Piece of cement board 24 inches by 24 inches minimum Drill and assorted drill bits 2 inch diameter hole bit 4 1 quarter by 2 inch or longer hex head lag bolts Tape measure Socket wrench and sockets Phillips screwdriver Level Marker Utility knife Hacksaw Silicone plumber's grease and brush File and rags In areas prone to freezing temperatures, install this product to interior walls. If installing to an exterior wall, provide adequate insulation to ensure against freezing. Construct the framing using 2x6 studs, allowing for a minimum stud pocket of 18 and 7 8 inches. The waste outlet may need to be relocated for this product. Have a qualified professional relocate it if necessary. The center of the waste outlet should be 4 inches from the front edge of the framing, centered in the stud pocket. Remove the carriage from the packaging and inspect it for damage. Loosen the adjustment nuts using the supplied hex wrench. Extend the legs approximately 8 inches to allow clearance for a wrench and 2 inch lag bolts to secure the carriage feet. Retighten the nuts to secure the legs. Prop the carriage upright. Ensure the product is stable. While gently pushing down on the strap, use a Phillips screwdriver to carefully turn the screw, labeled open, until the strap comes free from the locking mechanism. Install the waste pipe. Insert the support strap into the lock and tighten around the waste pipe. Lock the support strap by turning the lock clockwise until you hear a click. Move the carriage into place inside the stud pocket. Temporarily support the top of the carriage so it will not fall. Align the front edge of the carriage flush with the front of the studs. Make sure the carriage is plumb along the front edge. Verify no part of the carriage frame extends beyond the front face of the studs. Adjust the carriage position as needed. Mark the hole locations for the feet. Remove the carriage from the stud pocket. Drill pilot holes for the lag bolts. Reposition the carriage in the stud pocket. Secure each foot with a lag bolt. Install the threaded rods into the bottom set of holes. Reference the specification sheet to determine your desired toilet bowl installation height. Apply masking tape to the carriage above each of the threaded rods. Measure up 2 and 5 8 inches from each threaded rod. Mark this measurement on the masking tape. Apply plumber's grease to the waste pipe gasket. Loosen the adjustment nuts and raise or lower the carriage until the marked lines are at your desired toilet bowl height. Tighten the nuts to secure the carriage. Secure the support blocks to the stud framing. Remove the temporary support. Drill a pilot hole at each corner. Secure each corner with a lag bolt. Insert the plaster guards into the inlet and outlet. Install the flush shield. Drill a 2-inch hole through the stud at the inlet location. Route the water supply to the tank inlet. Cut an opening in 24-inch by 24-inch cement board for the bowl connections. 
reference your installation guide for cutout dimensions. Install the cement board with the top of the opening tight to the inlet pipe. Install the finished wall. Adjust the threaded rods until they extend 2 and 1 quarter inches from the finished wall. Trim the flush shield even with the finished wall. Turn the locking tabs to the open position. Align the lift rod assembly with the valve. Install the lift rod assembly. Turn the locking tabs to the lock position. Install the faceplate over the lift rod assembly. Install the small gasket to the end of the inlet pipe. Install the large gasket to the flared end of the outlet pipe. Apply plumber's grease to both gaskets. Insert the inlet pipe, gasket side first, into the inlet of the bowl. Insert the outlet pipe, gasket side first, onto the outlet on the bowl. Position a straight edge on the inlet pipe and against the back of the bowl. Mark the inside of the straight edge. Repeat for the outlet pipe. Remove the pipes. Remove the plaster guards from the inlet and outlet holes. Apply plumber's grease to the gasket on the inlet hole. Insert the inlet pipe fully into the inlet hole. Mark the finished wall location on the inlet pipe. If the finished wall aligns with any portion of the gasket, no mark is needed. Insert the outlet pipe fully into the outlet hole. Mark the finished wall location on the outlet pipe. If the finished wall aligns with any portion of the gasket, no mark is needed. Remove the pipes. Measure the distance between the two marks on the inlet pipe to determine dimension A. From the end of the inlet pipe opposite of the gasket, measure and mark dimension A. Cut the inlet pipe at the marked location. Measure the distance between the two marks on the outlet pipe to determine dimension B. From the end of the outlet pipe opposite the gasket, measure and mark dimension B. Cut the outlet pipe at the marked location. Smooth the rough edges with a file. Apply plumber's grease to the inlet and outlet hole gaskets. Install the inlet pipe. Install the outlet pipe. Verify the pipes are fully engaged and the gaskets are not creased. Apply plumber's grease to both pipe gaskets. Install the seat. To ease installation, get help to position and support the bowl until secure. Lift the bowl into place onto the threaded rods while guiding the inlet and outlet pipes into the bowl. Push the bowl up flush against the wall. Slide a gasket and washer onto each threaded rod. Carefully wrench tighten the nuts. Do not over tighten. Turn on the main water supply. Confirm proper operation. Check for leaks. Clean and dry the bowl surface where the adhesive locking tape will be applied. Determine the correct panel for each side. The panels are not interchangeable. Peel off the backing from the three strips of adhesive locking tape. Carefully position the side panel and press firmly into place. Repeat for the second side panel. Allow the adhesive to set for 24 hours before attempting to remove or reposition the side panels.